good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Today, we're going to have a little sermon on courage. My name is Didi Nicole Kofi, and I'll, I have just a little message to share with all of you today. So our theme is courage. But before we get into that, shall we pray? Father, Lord, we thank you for today, and we thank you for the day that you've made. We thank you for allowing us to wake up and share it in this beautiful day. We thank you for our families and our friends. As we are gathered here today to watch this video, we pray that any message that you want anyone in the house to hear, they will hear it. We pray that you continue to keep everybody safe and protect them. In Jesus' name I pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Okay. So what is courage? Well, courage is something magical that happens inside you. That makes you forget you're scared in the first place, so you're able to do the right thing or you're able to do what you have to do. Courage may mean being nice to a new person in your class. It may mean trying something you've never tried before. It might mean speaking up for something you strongly believe in or fighting for something, again, you strongly believe in. Courage doesn't mean jumping in front of a car to save your friend or climbing a tree or something crazy like that. It can mean the simplest thing, but you are bold enough to take the first step. Courage is something that happens inside you that makes you stronger than you think you are. So today our Bible verse will be taken from Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 34. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 34. And this Bible story is called Jesus Walks on Water. And I know a few of you may have heard it before. So Matthew chapter 14, verse 21 to, uh, to 34. Let us hear the word of God. Immediately Jesus, made the, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boats and go ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up onto the mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out, of his, reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 34. So this little story, as you all heard, is about Jesus walking on water. And as we all know, walking on water is physically impossible. But of course, Jesus is a master of all things impossible. And this story just goes to show how important putting your faith in Jesus is, keeping your focus on him is, and having courage to take the first step. Because you should know that along the way, Jesus is with you. Right? This story not only, not only reminds us of that, but also reminds us that we are capable of anything, even walking through water, because God is with us. Courage is when you decide to put your faith in action. If you say you believe God will do this, God will do this, God will do this, all these incredible things for you, you must also be brave enough to start doing them for yourself because you know God is with you in your journey to achieve them. In Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6, it says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you and will not leave you nor forsake you. Courage is therefore the only thing you really need to face the future. It's the ability to 
push forward, and do something that would have scared you initially. Courage is very difficult to do because not everybody is brave enough to beat their fear. Not everybody is brave enough to do what everybody else is not doing. So with this coronavirus pandemic, with things happening around the world, people who are making the change are the people with courage, are the people who are bold enough to put their faith into action. So courage isn't a bit about being a superhero, isn't about doing you know, the most impossible thing, isn't about being able to fly, no. It's about having the strength to face every day's challenges, knowing that God is with you. It's about the choices you make and being strong enough to even make the hard, the very, 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 very hard choices. In short, it takes courage to be a Christian. For Peter, it wasn't easy for him to walk on water. As he saw the wind, he became scared and he shook, but as he put his focus back on God, he was able to do what he always set out to do. So to be a Christian is to have courage, because it takes courage to obey God. It takes courage to enter into the fullness of our inheritance as his children. Okay. So my message here today is that you have to have courage to take the first step. You have to have courage to be a Christian and know that along the way, if you keep your faith in God, anything you want, anything you want to achieve will come to pass. To possess courage, it means, it means you, have, you possess the qualities to face any difficulty, to face any disappointment, to face any danger, to face any, even death, you're, because you are prepared for anything that, fa that comes in front of you. All right. So that's all I have to share with you today, and I hope you took a little something from my message today. So before we all go, shall we pray again? Father Lord, we thank you for this message that we, you know, we've all heard here today. Father, we thank you for always being with us and always keeping us and protecting us. We thank you for all the courage that you've given us to go through life this far. And we pray that in the future, when any difficulty, any challenge, anything that looks impossible, anything that looks hard comes our way, we'll have the courage to take the first step. We thank you for your protection, and we thank you for your grace and mercy upon our lives and the lives of our families. Thank you, and we give thanks and praise to you. In Jesus' name I pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. So happy Sunday, and as you go, go with courage and go with strength and go with faith. Know that God is always with you, and all you have to do is have courage and have faith, then take the first step.